Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tiberium Hangar. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the Underground Arsenal Turtle Van or Party Wagon. I did review the vintage one a couple of weeks back, and now we're going to compare that to this, of course. But this one, I think, is going to be the best of the Turtle Vans. The Turtle Van War, the Party Wagon War, and it has begun. This is here, a full year before any of the other competitors are going to have theirs put out. So there's a lot of advantage to this. This is a really solid effort by Underground Arsenal. Now, there's a couple of minor issues with it here and there, but the minor issues are far outweighed by the good and the great. So we're going to get into talking about this. I did get this at Shozy, and you can get yours there. So I'll have a link down below. So let's get into taking a look at the first of the larger scale party wagons. All right, here's the box. Pretty simple and plain. No real artwork to it. And then this is how it comes packed in here. So we're going to get this opened up and have a look. It's huge. This is big. All right, so here, here it is out of the package. It is way bigger than I thought it would be. So we do have some assembly required with it. So let's get it assembled and take a look at this guy. First thing we're going to do is put this spoiler on. So we have to put this piece in here on each side and... on the other side too. And then there's some slots right here that it's just going to slot into. Right there. Right there. Nice and easy. Okay, then we come around to the front and we have to spell <laughs> spell something. So, let's get all these letters out and see what we can do. So there's letters here that's going to spell turtles, and then there's three extra letters, and somebody pointed out that it spells cab, so you could do that if you want to, but let's go ahead and get turtles on here, so we're just going to plug them all in, I'm going to unplug the cab, and we're going to plug them in one at a time, and it just seems to sort of make sense, so T, and then the U, and then the R. And so the the little dots are in specific spots to match up to the hmm to match up to these. Let me look at this a little bit closer. Be uh, a lot easier if you could spell, but so they are all formed to match just right, so it works pretty well, actually, sort of. So I get to the S. So there it is, kind of an interesting way to put that on there. So let's take a look at this guy. So first off, overall, it is big. It looks very much like, like the turtle van from the cartoon. And it looks a lot like the turtle van from the vintage toy, except more like the cartoon. So I think they got everything right. The, the proportions are right, the aesthetics right, the colors are pretty close. So just overall looking at it, I wish it would have had a little bit more paint and line work. So one thing is Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter's reviews. He had somebody do some line art on it to make it look more like a cartoon inspired. And that shows if it had a little bit more paint apps to it, it would have been almost 100% perfect, but it's really close to perfect. But yeah, those paint apps do make it pop. So uh, I want to show that picture there, but let's get into looking at each little piece of this. So starting out from the side, you can see the green roof, the yellowish orangish lower part and then the wheels so the wheels have some white painted rims and let's see somebody was saying something about rubber tires um this feels like it's kind of rubber right here but this does not yeah it feels like a different material this is a different material than this i'm not sure what you call it but when you see when i push it there's some sort of an overlay over it the tires are there. It actually has tires. It's not hard plastic. It's like a rubber coating, which is cool. I like that. That's that's pretty interesting. Uh, it may break down over the years, but uh, still kind of cool with that. The mirror is, it's got a frost to it. It's not really reflective, but it's, it's, it's okay. I would have liked a perfectly reflective one, but that is what it is. 
uh, looking at it from the front. We do have a lot going on in the front. You know, you saw we did the whole turtle thing here, but we have these cannons that go up and down and extend. Uh, we got these side pieces, the mirrors, the windows. Now the windows, I think I need to like do some sort of, they look like they've got a little bit of dusting, probably from the factory, some like dust in there and stuff. Uh, we have some uh, some headlights and stuff here, which we can light those up here later on. And then we got these, the grill, the front, the teeth, all that kind of stuff looking kind of cool right there. And then getting over to this side and looks about like the other side, except it does different stuff. And we're going to get into all of the functions after we do the quick overview and looking at it. And then here's the back. And so looks super cartoon would have liked a little bit more line work on it. Aside from that, like that's really my only complaint so far. This thing looks amazing. It's huge and it definitely delivers. So the first feature, obviously this door opens, uh, this, all this opens. So just open this. Yeah. This door opens, this door opens and looking on the inside, let's get a good look. Uh, there is some paint in there. It's tough to get these angles here. So we'll see it again from the other side, but we got paint on the dashboard, this thing here. Uh, we got pedals in there. It actually has like brake and gas pedal and stuff like that. And then you have a gear shifter that moves. So it's a movable gear shifter. So all right, now we can see a little bit better in there with this light. So we can have this movable gear shifter and it looks pretty nice in there. I think they put a lot of their paint apps on the inside, which is kind of strange. It's a, it's a little bit crazy to go that route is to put more of your paint apps on the inside of it than on the outside. So as you can see right here, we do have this uh, panel right there. We got some fire extinguishers, um, built in mat, really kind of cool. And then let's move around to the back and the back opens up like so. And so getting in here, you see the same thing right there. You see, this is a painted little screen, little computer panel and all that kind of stuff is going to look good with turtles standing in front of it here in a little while. Same thing on the other side. They have, uh, are they identical? Yeah, they look to be the exact same thing. No, they're reversed because this one has a phone on this side and then the other one has a phone on that side. But they're really close to the same thing, which I don't mind reuse or something like that if it's going to get us a really cool looking item and a lot of fun. So uh, moving around to this side, what does this side do for us? Well, with this side, we can open, uh, let's open this door. We can get this opened out and then we can pull this, this out here. So I, that thing shifted during the flight. Okay. So folding this down, lifting these up and I think mine's a little misaligned. So there we go. And pop the seat up and then lift the support beam up and then place the support beam in place, extend that. That all works really well. So nice little gunner station. I mean, just, just like with a vintage and all that kind of stuff, but uh, let's see about getting in here. We can see some of the details a little bit better on the inside here. So there's that. Um, I don't think we saw that so good from the other side, but still pretty cool. A brown seat in there just looks like a brown seat. <laughs> a lot of fun. Now, Let's see how this looks with some turtles in it. But, oh, next thing I want to do is open the top. So here's a shot of Donnie interacting with the turtles. Also in the background, so you can kind of see just how well Rocksteady, Bebop, Shredder all fit in there. They're bigger size figures, and they fit in it just fine. And I think that's why they made it the size they did. So you could pretty much put any of the main cast in there for whatever reason. Maybe they took over the turtle van, or they're doing something crazy. But really looks nice. A lot of great display options there. So opening up the top, uh, I'm gonna lift up and move it out. So it's on a hinge kind of thing. So it comes up and out. It doesn't just fold out, but that's fine. So it looks good when it's closed and looks good when it's open. And same thing over here. Now, this is how it looks from the top and you have a ladder, which is kind of cool. And then from that ladder, you can fold it down and you can see the inside. You can have more space for just standing or whatever if you want. You can see the drivers and it's, it's pretty cool. Just another function that's there, but all right. So here's the turtle van with some figures in it. I put Leonardo over here in a gunner station with a little bit more work. He could sit a little bit better than this, but, uh, 
doesn't really look bad. In fact, it does feel a little big for NECA. In fact, some of these, I'm thinking it wants to accommodate Super 7, so Underground Arsenal wants to accommodate all the different turtles. So we're gonna see with some bigger turtles here a little bit, but with NECA, I think it looks pretty good and it works. Now, a couple of few things. I see a lot of people fitting three and up to four figures in here. I think three is about the max. Uh, it's hard to see what's going on in there, but yeah, I got three of them in there right now. Maybe you can cram all four. I don't see why you'd want to, but uh, generally you kind of think of it as a two seater, but it's a bench and there's a lot of room in there. One more nice little feature that they included is a weapons storage area. You have the same thing on this side, so you can store all your weapons however you want and just have your figures inside the van. I, I could see a lot of these weapons getting bent up, trying to sit in a van and all that kind of stuff. So really nice inclusion that fits NECA just fine. The Leonardo bow staff is a loose fit in there, but it still holds. I think it might fall when you close it. No, it didn't. Now, how much room does it have on the inside? Rocksteady, Bebop, and Shredder are in there, and we're about to close it and see. And it closes just fine with some of the biggest figures in the line. Well, I don't think you could put, like, Chrome Dome in there. So how does this van work with other figures such as Playmates and Best AXN and Original Vintage? Do not open this door by... the. You keep wanting to pull the mirror. I keep wanting to pull that mirror. I open this a little bit to get this door open. That's the easiest way. It sticks just a little bit. No big deal. But let's pull Donatello out of here and see if we can get old Mikey in there. And there's the Playmates one. It fits just fine. He's big. He's got a wider stance the way he goes in there, but that works. That looks fine. Here's how it looks with the best AXN figure in there. With the best AXN, it is a bit small, but hey, if, you, if that's what you've got, it'll work. But it is a bit small. It's been on the small side, so it'll be way, this thing's gonna be way too big for Vintage Turtles. A Vintage Leo could almost stand up inside there on the seat, but not quite. So yeah, you know, just stick with the original one for your Vintage figures. There we go, I got him standing up. Actually, that doesn't really look that bad, but uh, I don't know why you'd wanna do it. It's just a thing you can do. Uh, battery compartment down here, takes uh, triple A's. Then you can flip that on and you can have the lights on. So let's see how it looks with the lights on. And these lights off, yeah, kind of cool. Kind of cool that they just include something a little extra like that. Wonder if we get any electronics in any of the other ones. That'll be interesting to find out. All right, so for comparison time, how does it scale to the original Turtle Fan? Now, it is way bigger, um, twice, three times the size. So it does have the size factor. It actually is more cartoon accurate than the original OG Vintage one. And I think it does look way better and definitely a way better look to it. And more functionality. There's a lot more to it, but... You know, this thing was, well, I only paid 25 but a $35 item, about, that's $235 now. So, really, I think you do get your money's worth, you get what you pay for, and it is much more premium than this old vintage one. I would like to maybe get some stickers or something, uh, optional stickers if you want to do that to yours. Or, I would have preferred, of course, some painted line work and that kind of stuff, but still, massive, massive improvement to the vintage. So what else is fun to compare this to? Well, what's more fun than a G.I. Joe well? Just, just think about it. What's really more fun than that? So it has a similar size footprint, but it is taller and bigger. So when you think of the well, you probably think that's one of the bigger Joe vehicles out there that's pretty common. And it is around the same size footprint. Slightly smaller footprint, but definitely taller. So what are my thoughts on this underground arsenal party wagon, turtle van, I think it is a pretty awesome value for what you get. I think it looks great. It has a lot of playability. It's got a lot of displayability. It is set up to fit pretty much any turtle that's on the market right now. I, I like a lot of the things that they did, like the turtles in the front. There is some paint to it. There is a little bit here and there. I would have liked more paint though. I would have liked the line work, kind of what Mad Hatter did was really cool. I like how it fits all your figures. I like how there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of room and space in the back and there's a lot of display stuff that's going on. Honestly, I don't know how Super 7 or NECA is gonna beat this. And I do have the NECA one coming. I pass on the Super 7 one, but I like the look of this one. I sorta of like the look of the NECA one. 
I think this is going to be the clear winner. I do believe this is going to be the winner out of all of them. At the end of the day, this is going to be the best one. But it may take a little bit of customization, or they might do another run with more paint for a higher price. Who knows? But let me know what you think about this turtle van. Are you in on any of the turtle vans? Or do you just think they're cool to look at? Would you get a turtle van for something other than turtles? That'd be interesting for display. Let me know in the comments below. You can get yours at Show Z. I'll have a link down below. Like, subscribe to Deerfinger Out. Things or do we just get buzzed by a couple of rocket-powered lowriders?